we're going to be talking here about multiples and least common multiples between a couple different numbers. The first thing, when I think of multiples, I think of skip counting. Officially, a multiple of a number is the product of that number and any whole number. So we'll practice, like multiples of four. I could do four times one, four times two, four times three, four times four, four times five, on and on and on. You get the idea. I'm writing out um, product of four and any other whole numbers, not fractions, whole numbers only. Four times one, four times two, four times three. We'll do a couple others to practice. Multiples of six. Um, you could think of si skip, uh, skip counting. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, on and on and on. You get the idea. Same thing with nine. Um, as many of you guys know how you can use your fingers to, to find the multiples of nine, it's the same idea. Um, nine times one, nine times two, nine times three, nine times four, nine times five, nine times six, oops, 54, on and on and on. Okay, so that's how you list multiples. If I want to find an LCM, or the least common multiple, it's the first multiple that they have in common, the first number in this list that they have in common. So if I wanted to find the least common multiple of four and six, I'd be looking in my four row, and looking in my six row, and looking for what's the first number they have in common. Um, well, in this case, the first number they have in common is 12. There's a 12, and there's a 12. So the least common multiple of four and six is 12. I'm going to use a different color for the next one. If I'm looking for the least common multiples of 4 and 9, I'd be looking in the 4 row and in the 9 row and trying to find what they have in common. The first number they're going to have in common is 36. 36 and 36. Now, an important thing to look at here is that sometimes the least common multiple is the product of those numbers. Like when I did 4 and 9, the least common multiple was the product. 4 times 9 is just 36. But that wasn't the case for 4 and 6. Sometimes that's not true. For 4 and 6, the product would have been 24. But that wasn't the least common multiple. The least one was 12. And again, when you're working with fractions, it's going to be important that you guys do your best to find not only a common multiple, but the least one, the least common multiple.